Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're all doing really well. I hope everybody had a lovely Thanksgiving if you are in the United States. Um, today's reading, welcome, welcome to today's reading. It is going to be for divine soulmates or twin soul, twin flame connections. We're going to be looking at the masculine's energy as well as the feminine's energy and also what is coming up. Um, so before we get started, I also want to say, um, if you are curious about the cord cutting sessions, I did make a little community post with some feedback from one of my clients and I will be posting more just because I, I feel like they're just so special um, and it might help to give you some insight into what other people are um, thinking about them, how they're feeling about them. So I will be doing that and I will also be sharing a couple of stories from them as well. So be on the lookout for that. Now, um, I know it was Black Friday, <laughs> and yeah, but we still have Cyber Monday. So I decided that I am going to do a little special offer for the cord cutting um, sessions. So they're going to be at 30% off until Friday, 12 midnight Eastern time for the US. All right. So 30% off, that means instead of 120, which was actually also um, which was another like offer, I am deducting 30% from that. So it will be $85, all right? Um, now, if you are doing one of the like bundles where it's um, where you get five at a discounted rate, this one can't um, go towards that. Like it can't be included because then it wouldn't be fair to me, all right? So this is mostly for people who just want to um, try it out and then see from there. So yeah, that. If you have any questions, feel free to email me and I will do the best that I can to respond. And I think that's it. Let's get into the reading. So it is general as always, won't be everybody's situation. And if you would like a personal reading, all that information is in the description box below this video. All right, so let's see. We're gonna start by getting some Oracle cards for the masculines. Get a feel of what is going on with them. What do we need to know? And we have all tied up. All right, let's see what else. So yeah, I feel like we kind of know that, but I'm seeing this more as this like really like playing out right now, um, feeling that stuckness. Right, <laughs> and then we have the High Priestess of Spirit. So for me, yes, this is exactly it whatever situation they are in, whatever they might be trapped in or keeping themselves trapped in, um, this is going to play out or this is already playing out like more intensely than usual to get them to feel that discomfort to an even greater extent. Fear and self-reflection. Okay, so yes, yeah, some dark energy here, all right? I do like that we have the High Priestess of Spirit because this is also telling me that this is also orchestrated by the universe. So there's a lot of like dark energies that the masculines are currently going through, all right? They are really feeling the stuckness of whatever situation they are in. They And that actually is what is creating fear, which is okay. Um, because it's this this is not the fear of getting out of it this is not the fear of being with the divine feminine this is not that kind of a fear the the type of fear that i'm picking up on here is a fear of staying stuck the fear of staying all tied up like oh my god is this going to be my life all right and that's exactly why we also have the self-reflection card I feel like that fear is being reflected to them. It's being amplified, almost like a magnifying glass. That's how I'm seeing this as well. This little, like, it, it's a mirror. But I'm seeing it as a magnifying glass. So, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna pull anymore. I feel like that is actually enough for the masculines. Um, very, very interesting. Even the fact that this particular fear card, it has a cage, right? Which, which is very similar to the all tied up essence. 
So, and both of these cards, they actually um, represent the Eight of Swords in, in Tarot, right? Which is that stuck feeling. All right, let's, let's see, let's get into the Tarot. Let's see what else we can get for the masculines. I just saw the Three of Pentacles flip over. So definitely feeling like for a lot of them, it's involving other people. May or may not be like karmic relationships. Usually they are. Um, doesn't have to be romantic. It can be anything, all right? It can be a relative. It can be friends. It can be even just society. It, could, it can even be beliefs, right? That are imposed on them from, from other people or from society. All right, let's see. For the masculines. All right, the Knight of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, and the King of Cups in reverse. So I, this is just their general energy. It's not um, specifically to their Divine Feminine, all right? So what I'm getting here is that, yeah, and especially having seen that Three of Pentacles before, this is other people in their lives who are appearing to be um, sweet or, you know, just giving them something or offering them something. And there's something about that, um, or, or it could even be a situation that just appears tempting. There's something about that that is changing. It's currently shifting. It's currently changing. And it's also creating a lot of emotional instability for the masculines. I might clarify this row here, but let me see more specifically. for their energy towards their feminine. The Page of Wands in reverse, the Page of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords in reverse. All right, I feel like for the most part, for those of you that this reading is going to resonate with, um, your masculine is holding back. You might be in contact, you might not be in contact. It doesn't, that's not really what matters here. It's that they they are holding back regardless, all right, with the Page of Wands being in reverse. Um, it, it's almost coming in as them having started something or they were about to do something and then they didn't. They like retracted their steps or something along those lines. Um, there is though, there's something here, all right, because we do have the page of pentacles upright. So this is telling me that the masculine is at least forming some kind of a plan or strategy in, in their minds, all right? It might not be, um, they might not be acting on it just yet with the ace of swords being in reverse right after that, but there is some kind of a plan. There is some kind of a strategizing here in terms of you. Let's see what's going on in their headspace. The Knight of Wands in reverse, the Ten of Wands, and the Ten of Swords in reverse. Yeah, they definitely went back on something. Um, so for some of you, you, this may have even played out, like it may have been something that was visible to you. It really just depends on how much interaction you have with your, with your masculine or um, on how much access you have to what is going on in, in their life. And I don't mean that you're spying on them or anything like that. Sometimes you just, you know, find out things or just see things. Um, but they've definitely gone back on something that they had begun to initiate. And again, you may or may not be aware of this. So for example, if you're not in contact, you know, maybe they picked up their phone, they started writing you a text and then deleted it, for example, all right? Um, but definitely went back on some kind of action that they were about to initiate. It's just that whatever that action was, it felt very overwhelming for them. Um, it felt very overwhelming, but then also, or for some of you, this might be something that's like literally playing out like now or this week um, coming up, all right? Just the times are, are relevant. It could be something that happened in the recent past or something that is coming up, all right? It depends. So do keep that in mind. Um, whatever this is that they went back on, 
um, it's creating a lot of pain for them and it's something that they have not let go. Like they're still kind of thinking about that. Like they're still thinking about the fact that they went back on it. And maybe it's one of those things, I can't even think of an example where, you know, if you go back on it, then you can't really do it again. Um, so obviously if it's just a text message, you know, they can pick up their phone and, and do the same thing again and then send it this time. But I'm getting that for some of them, it was something different where it's kind of hard to actually repeat that step. It's kind of like, well, if that failed, then, you know, now it has to be something else. Or maybe for some of them, they had an opportunity um, to make contact with you or something and they kind of missed out on that opportunity. So now, you know, they have to wait for the next one. But whatever the case though, they're feeling um, a major disappointment here for not having gone through with something. And maybe for some of them, it's just the mere fact of time having passed and that now it wouldn't make much sense or maybe now it would be more awkward, okay? Just an example. So it really depends. Um, but this whole situation, this whole thing, and even the fact of them um, backing out and now feeling like they just cannot resolve this or that they cannot um, get over this, whatever, the situation, that is also creating that fear, like feeling that, like they're limited, um, feeling like they're, they are restricted in some way and that is creating fear. Like, is this what my life is going to be? Am I gonna be restricted like this or feeling this restriction? All right, let's just see what's going on emotionally. And then I'm going to clarify some of these. The Four of Swords, the Two of Swords, and the King of Swords. I feel like we're getting quite a bit of swords. Um, we have quite a bit of wands and we have quite a bit of swords. So yeah, whatever this is, it's very intense. And there is a lot of mind energy here. All right, even though this is their emotional space, like it's all swords. So it's like their thoughts are really, really affecting their emotions at the moment. Um, there's something definitely here that they're healing as well. I feel like during this time period, there is healing that is happening. And I feel like it's especially in terms of their own um, stagnation, in terms of their own procrastination, stalling, not taking action. And it's because that that fear is really um, coming to the surface big time about their own trappedness. And so through that, um, th there's actually healing that is happening here. Let's clarify these. And what I'm getting here is really um, the thing that is really helping them to heal is their awareness, their awareness of the stagnation, their awareness of not taking, of not taking action. So sometimes, I mean, that's true for all of us, right? Just the mere acceptance or understanding um, of our mistakes or of, you know, something that is negative within us, sometimes that in and of itself is enough, like just becoming aware, aware of it. So, yeah, definitely going through some dark stuff here. Um, let's see, let's clarify. Let's clarify. I'm just going to get jumping cards to let however many want to come out. That's what I'm feeling guided to do. I know that the sound can be annoying for some of you, so I apologize for that, but that's just what I'm feeling guided. So let's see for that first row. Knight of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, King of Cups in Reverse. I would have never pulled four. <laughs> I would have stopped at three maximum. All right, uh, which way were these? Okay, like this. Okay, so we have the Eight of Wands. Oh, they're all upright. The Eight of Wands, the Page of Wands, again, this time upright, the Queen of Wands, and the Eight of Swords, which I said in the very beginning, it's like that all tied up card and the Fear card. Um, all right, so just give me a sec here. This is definitely involving other people. Um, it could be um, some kind of communication that they have with other people, like some kind, I, I, don't, I don't know, like I, I'm getting that for a lot of them, there's either some kind of an offer um, 
or some kind of a conversation that they're having with others. And whatever that is, it's, it's triggering something, it's instigating something. And not only that, it's like bringing their Divine Feminine to their awareness. So, if you know anything about your masculine situation, like you might be able to put that together and understand how that might be actually um, working out. All right, but it's something that's happening in their outside life involving other people is bringing you to their awareness. And this is related to them feeling stuck in whatever that other situation is or feeling stuck in terms of coming forward to their feminine, which I kind of get. It's like it's one and the same, like whatever that other situation is that they're feeling stuck in. That is also why they are stuck from um, taking action towards towards you. So the fact that they're feeling because of that, they're feeling this emotional instability that is creating the fear because they're very much aware of how they're feeling. So it's not like they're like they're not happy, and, but like not really aware of it. It's like, no, because it's being amplified. And so they're feeling it to a very intense degree. So that is freaking them out because they know something has to change if they want to have that emotional stability, if they want to have that love in their life and have their feminine. And I feel like that's kind of, you know, what got them to, to take some kind of initiative that they ended up going back on here, all right, with that page of wands. Um, so let's see, let me just clarify the second row just a bit. All right, Queen of Pentacles, and then we have the Three of Cups. Again, I'm getting that something from the outside is what stopped them. Like they're like they've just been they've allowed themselves to be influenced by something else, by another energy. All right, whatever that is for you, it, and it could be anything. It doesn't have to be a person, um, but they're influenced by that. For some of them, I'm getting it could even be um, a health issue. For other of them, it, others of them, it could be a financial issue. But that's something that kind of made them hesitate to whatever it is that they began to do. Um, however, what I do see here, though, clarifying this page of pentacles that I was talking about before, is it being like a strategy or like a plan at, at the very least. We have the three of cups. So their plan, their strategy or what they're thinking in terms of that has to do with coming back into some kind of um, a meeting with you. All right, with the Three of Cups. It's just that at the moment they're not taking action on it, but the plan, it's like it's there or it's being formulated. And that plan, again, Three of Cups, that's a reunion. Very simple. All right, let's see this third row. Um, for their headspace with the Knight of Wands in reverse, the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, I especially want to see that Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords being in reverse. Six of Pentacles in reverse and the Chariot in reverse. Whatever it is that they went back on or um, whatever action it is that they're not taking, they're, they're thinking that they just don't have much to offer at the moment. And almost like they just don't know what to what to give, what to provide, what kind of energy are they going to bring to you? So that's also part of the reason why they, why they took a step back. 
And for a lot of them, yeah, you know, it could definitely be that they know that you give more to this just overall or that you've given more to this overall, even in the past. So it's like, what is their, how can they possibly bring a balance to that? And even that thought in and of itself is overwhelming for them and feels like it's a big, um, burden to carry so i get that for some of them it could also be like kind of like guilt or not exactly guilt but just feeling like um just had the fool pop out as well feeling like <clears throat> no matter what they say to you or no matter what they do it's not going to be enough so why do it at all so that thought actually made them take that step back um and with the chariot being in reverse yes that's definitely going back um on something again that was initiated and again they're not happy about it they're not happy about it but they also feel like they can't they can't do it either they're definitely though um feeling this pain feeling the pain of this It's like with that fool that popped out, they feel like it would be a risk to make whatever move it is that they need to make towards you, whether that is communication or whether if you're already in communication, whether it is, you know, whatever the next step is for you. So let's see this bottom row with all the swords for their emotional space, six of wands. Six of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the King of Pentacles. So yeah, Spirit is letting us know here that there is progress that is being made. I know, I know it doesn't feel like it, and I'm not trying to give anybody false hope. And to me, I mean, the best thing is to, you know, just keep detaching as much as is possible, right? Because you can't force it, as I always say. You cannot force it. Um, and detachment also doesn't mean that you're not going to be missing them it doesn't mean that you're going to be like as if this connection never happened all right it's not like one of those normal um <laughs> i guess the word would be normal um connections or relationships where yeah you know you can completely be get over somebody these connections just are not like that and that's why they're so difficult and that is why it's an ongoing process but i promise you it does get so much easier and a lot of you already know that because you're already in that in that phase and then for those of you who are right smack in the middle of the pain i promise you it gets so much easier you can still have nostalgia for this person you can still know that they're your person and still be okay with the distance and and i know because if someone had told me that back when i was in the middle of it like i wouldn't have believed them so i understand that <laughs> but yeah, I guess you will see when you, you know, once you're there and it just, it just takes a little bit of time and patience with your own self. Um, but there's just so many lessons that you learn through it. Um, okay, so yeah, Spirit is letting us know that there is healing that is happening, all right? With the Six of Wands, this is success. And it's clarifying the Four of Swords, which is about the healing. So whatever the situation is, this fear, this sense of being trapped, it's being amplified because that is helping them to heal in some way, all right? Now, there, it's related to, like I said, them not taking action, not moving forward, especially in terms of love and in terms of, you know, their ultimate happiness here and where their heart is guiding them, all right? Um, I love that we have two kings together here, the king of pentacles clarifying the king of swords, because this again, it's it's telling me that there's maturity behind this, all right? Even on an emotional level, they are aware of how they are feeling and they're not being immature about it. They're not just completely blocking it out or trying to convince themselves otherwise. I'm not getting that at all. I'm getting here that there's a lot of awareness and a lot of deeper understanding about this and also that they are taking it pretty seriously at the moment pretty damn seriously so yeah all right let's take a look at what's happening with the feminines and then we'll see what is coming up All right, 
we have the fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael, which I am happy to see because, well, first of all, I actually called on Archangel Raphael um, to be present here during this reading. So that's nice to make his presence known. Um, but also this is like that Four of Swords and it's representing the Divine Feminine also healing, first of all, your heart. And if you are, like I said, in the middle of the pain, then take this as your sign, as your message, that your your heart chakra is is healing, all right? Your heart is, is healing. The pain is also going to subside, all right? To know that this is not going to be how you're going to feel permanently. And also, this is another message here, to call upon Archangel Raphael. If you feel like the pain is too much to bear, call on Archangel Raphael and ask him to ease that pain. It works. It works. I can tell you firsthand, it works. All right, let's see what else. Visions. <laughs> this is so interesting that we got the visions card because I was just talking to one of my dear friends today who is also on this on this journey um, and she was just telling me today about these crazy visions that she's been having so I'm getting that you know it's not only her all right if you've been getting some strange visions um, most likely concerning your masculine or maybe just concerning your path just overall, it doesn't have to be so specific to your masculine, all right? Um, know that they are very, very symbolic at the moment. They're very symbolic and they definitely mean something and whatever they mean, it's going to be something different for each of you. But I'm getting that the message here is that, yes, you're not crazy, they're not just in your head, they are real, all right? Or there is something real, a real message behind them. acceptance yeah so this is kind of like what I've been talking about I'm so not surprised to get this card because I feel like this is something I've been talking about uh, for I don't even know how long um, but basically one of the major lessons for the feminines is acceptance to accept a situation for what it is and that of course involves releasing control that you always hear us talk about that involves, you know, detaching, just accepting the situation for what it is and, you know, not, not imposing our energy on it to make it something different or to, you know, want it so badly to be something different. It's like just releasing that, releasing that. And I feel like actually I touched on that a little bit um, earlier in this reading as well. I don't remember exactly what I said, but I think I said something along those lines. So yes, it's accepting the situation it is, it is what it is, and eventually being okay with, you know, with not knowing whether there will ever be union or not. Now, I do believe that twin souls or divine counterparts are meant to come into union, all right? But the truth is that, or at least this is a matter of perspective, okay? So just take it if it resonates. It doesn't always happen. It doesn't happen for every single um, person, all right? And for others, it does. So it's, it's all a matter of accepting it for what it is right now. And then, you know, whatever's going to happen, you know, allow that to happen. Just allow it to happen on its own. All you can do is just focus on you and focus on your own path and your own, your own journey. So I feel like that's what's been happening here with the feminines. And I also get that a lot of you with these visions, or it's not just specific to visions. I feel like you've been getting mixed messages of hope and disappointment, and that can make it all the more confusing. Um, and these might even be from your DM, or um, they might even just be from signs, signs from the universe. And you can get both, both something that is disappointing, and then something that is hopeful, and then you're just like, well, what the hell? Yeah, again, acceptance. So let's see, let's just get a couple of tarot cards for the feminines. Oh, I guess those are it. 
Magician in reverse, the Wheel of Fortune for you as well, and the Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay, so it might feel like something hasn't been working out for you, and I don't know what that is. It might be in relation to your masculine, but I get a feeling that for some of you, it, it's involving other areas of life. Um, and then for others of you, of course, it is your masculine. Okay, so just take it as it resonates. As it resonates, whatever that is, it's creating some emotional instability for you as well. Notice how. This is interesting. We had um, the Wheel of Fortune and the King of Cups in reverse for the masculines, right, right next to each other. And here we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Queen of Cups in reverse. That's a pretty crazy coincidence to be, you know, for it to be a coincidence. Like, I don't think so. So you're definitely mirroring each other, which is also shown here with that self-reflection card which I did say is that it's that amplification of their fears. Yeah, but it's also playing out here. There's reflection between the two of you. So a lot of what you're feeling that is not happening, or maybe you're feeling like you don't have what it takes in order to do something or to make some kind of change in your life. A lot of this could be coming from your masculine and it's affecting you in that way. So become aware of that so that it doesn't affect you. And the more that you are able to shift, and go after something that you want to manifest, bring it into reality, change something so that you can have that. Like that's also going to affect your masculine. But if you're both in this, oh, I can't do it kind of an energy, well then that's, you're kind of giving that back and forth to each other. So someone has to break that. And well, if you're a feminine watching this video, you know, maybe it's you because now you're more aware of that. Um, so yeah, there's definitely, I feel like there's something you're wanting to go after, not referring to your masculine. Um, yeah, do that. And then I'm also getting the message that this is for a lot of you feeling like, you know, just that the masculine will never have what it takes to come forward. And that is also, you know, upsetting you a little bit, or it might be like this newfound disappointment again. Um, and just, you know, it can feel very, very painful. That's going to shift. It's like a cycle. I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune, these are like cycles that we go in and out of. And it's kind of like what I said before about getting the mixed like messages, like you, you might get hope and then, you know, you get disappointment. And then it's just a matter of balancing that out, which goes back to the acceptance that that's, it is just what it is. So then you don't let your hopes go up too high and then the disappointment isn't so low either it's like you find this happy medium so yeah some of you are already kind of experiencing this and then for others of you like maybe just hearing me say this like it it, it can help you to find that like balance so again take it as it resonates all right let's see what is coming up for the masculines By the way, I feel like a lot of masculines have already gone through that huge tower that I had been talking about. Um, and I feel like we're just not meant to know about it. It's kind of like a secret tower. We, we could know that it was coming, that it was happening, um, but not know anything else about it, at least not right now. And I'm sure that's for a very good reason. But I do have a feeling that a lot of them have gone through it or are currently going through it. All right, so coming up, we have the Six of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, and the Four of Cups in reverse. Okay, so it does look like they're finding some kind of balance here and walking away from something, all right? They're walking away from something. This is always a very positive card. All right, for me, because this talks about taking a more difficult path, moving away from whatever is, not, you know, whatever was causing them pain, whatever is keeping them in that pain, whatever is keeping them stuck and away from their, their true happiness and away from what it is that truly aligns with them. All right, they're walking away from that and it's happening because they're able to find some kind of balance. It's like something is balancing out. Um, and so there is this energy of walking away from that. But at the same time, I feel like it's creating a bit of unsettledness for them. And it's kind of like, you know, once they heal something, then something else kind of shows up that also needs to be healed. So I feel like something like that is coming up in the next week or so. So I know that was kind of vague, but that's, that's, that's what we're getting. 
Um, let me see, I wonder if I can clarify these. Yeah, let me clarify these. The Five of Wands in Reverse. Okay, so I feel like actually they're able, remember when I said before with the Six of, the Six of Pentacles was in reverse bef before, now it's upright. So feeling like they didn't have much to give you, I'm getting here that even though there is like still some conflict within themselves about whether they can give something to you, um, it's like they're resolving that conflict. All right, so whatever it is, you, and they might act out on this and they might not, okay? It really depends. But they're feeling like whatever it was that they felt like it wasn't enough, that that conflict within them is resolving. And that, you know what? It doesn't matter. Like, I can still give something to this, whether that be reaching out in a text message or whether that be something else, you know? Um, again, it's going to be different for each of you. So I feel like actually that's what this Eight of Cups is referring to, them taking that more difficult path, even if it is difficult for them to do so, that they're leaving behind that fear of not being able to give enough and doing something about it anyway. But let's see that Four of Cups being in reverse. Because I feel like this Four of Cups in reverse, which I was actually seeing as the Four of Swords before. Um, so I don't know if I said Swords, it's the Four of Cups in reverse. So this is kind of like that missed opportunity that I was talking about before. And we have the Five of Pentacles. So yeah, they're still feeling that disappointment. Like they're still feeling like they've lost something. But it's almost as if, you know, they want to turn that around. They want to turn that around, whatever that missed opportunity was, which they didn't take action for before. And that's because they're feeling, they're going to be feeling a big loss. They're going to be feeling like they really missed out on a chance they could have taken. So it's like they're reconsidering it here and taking, taking that more difficult step in that direction. 